In the last videos, we ran Ion Identity Networking in MZMine 2, and we can open up the feature list results and sort by MZ and by network ID. And if we do this, we have all the different ions that were generated by the same molecule with the same ion, the same uh, network ID. And then we can see that from lowest to highest mass to charge ratio, we have all the different in-source fragments, uh, the different adducts and multimers and multiply charged species, and they all have the same neutral mass. So the neutral mass was just calculated from the charge, from the mass to charge ratio, the charge, the multimer count, and the adduct or in-source fragments and modifiers. And then we come up with the same or very similar neutral mass. And this neutral mass actually corresponds to the standard that we measured. So this standard was also deoxycholic acid and the neutral mass matches this very well. And also if we submit all the data, so we submitted the feature list here with the ion identity networks, so the annotations and the connections between the ions, um, we came up with multiple annotations from GMPS as usodiol and usodeoxycholic acid and deoxycholic acid. And if we look at the MSMS spectra, they are very similar. So we actually fragmented some multimers and some insole fragments here, but they all have a very similar fragmentation pattern. And this is why uh, GMPS came up with these annotations here. And so the whole process of submitting the data is we open uh, MZMine, click on the feature list with the ion identity networks, and then export and submit to GMPS. Here we can define a file name. We can uh, set the mass list of the MS2 scans. We have an experimental merging setting for MSMS scans. So I am not going to explain this in this video. This is going to be um, for the next video. And then we have some new options here because this is the um, this is a special version of MZMine 2. We have the options that we want to export only with MS2. So all the features with MS2 and or an ion identity annotation. And then we submit to GMPS. And here we have another new option. We can also submit the annotation edges. So we are going to have some additional edges. GMPS is going to create a network for, of MS2 similarity edges. And we created a network of MS1 ion identities. And so these two networks are going to be merged. And if we submit with a username and password, then this, the new job is going to be created in our own GMPS user space. And so we click on OK, we run the module, and it's going to export an MGF, and the MGF is going to uh, hold all the information of the MS2 scans, then the MS annotation edges, and the quantification table of the feature table. And here we can see that the new job was created in my user space. We have the MGF file, we have the quantification table, and then also some supplementary pairs. This is just the additional edges. And after, after the job is done, we're going to get a notification by GMPS, and we can look at the data 